Hello, in this video, we are going to solve this interesting exponential equation. We have 1 divided by 8 power m plus 8 power m plus 8 power m and plus 8 power m. This is equals to 64. So we are solving this problem and we are finding the value of m that will satisfy this equation. So we have solution. Now let's recall the problem. We can have it as 1 divided by, this is 8 power m and this is 8 power m and this is 8 power m and this is 8 power m. We can actually factor it out. We have 8 power m into if you divide 8 power m by 8 power m, you're going to have 1 plus, you have 1 again, plus 1 plus 1. That is into 4 places because we have 8 power m 4 times here. And this is equals to 64. So let's proceed. We have 1 divided by 8 power m into this is 4 if you add what we have inside the bracket and this is equals to 64. So let's proceed. Now we can decide to write 8 power m in, in form of index form. So we can have 1 divided by 2 power 3 that is 8 or power m times this 4, we can write it as 2 power 2. And this is equals to 64 here. We can write it as index form. That is 2 power 6. So if you have a power n or power m, it's equals to we have a power n times m. So we are going to multiply this exponent. That means we are going to have 1 divided by 2 power 3 m times 2 power 2 then this is equals to 2 power 6 now let's consider this identity as well if you have a power n times a power m this is equals to a power n plus m So that means we are going to have 1 divided by 2 power 3 m plus 2 and this is equals to 2 power 6. Now this is over 1. So what do we do? We can cross multiply. So when we do that, that means we are going to have this is equals to 2 power 3m plus 2 times 2 power 6 and this is equals to 1. So what do we do? We are going to consider this identity as well. If you have a power n times a power m equals to a power n plus m, that means we are going to have, this implies we are going to have 2 power 3m plus 2 plus 6 and this is equals to 1. So let me recall it here again. We have 2 power 3m plus 2. Then we have plus 6 is equals to 1. And 1, we can write it as, this simply means we can have 2 power 3m plus 2 plus 6 is equal to 2 power 0. So what do we do? This simply means we can have 2 power 3m plus 8 equals to 2 power 0. So 2 cancels 2. Then we continue. We have 3m plus 
equals to 0. That means we have 3m equals to, taking this over, we have negative 8. Then we divide this by 3. We divide this by 3. 3 cancels 3. m equals to negative 8 over 3. Now, what do we do to do? What do we need to do? We have to check if this will actually satisfy this equation. Recall we had 1 divided by 8 power m plus 8 power m plus 8 power m plus 8 power m is equal to 64. So we need to fix in this value to be sure that we are going to have 64. So let's go ahead and do that. That means we are going to have 1 divided by 8 power instead of m we have negative 8 over 3 plus 8 power into negative 8 over 3 plus 8 power into negative 8 over 3 plus 8 power into negative 8 over 3 and this should be equals to 64 now we go again. So what do we do? We have 1 divided by 8 is 2 power 3. So we can have 2 power 3 into negative 8 divided by 3 plus 2 power 3 into negative 8 divided by 3 plus 2 power 3 into negative 8 divided by 3 plus 2 power 3 into negative 8 divided by 3 and this is equals to 64 so what do we do 3 cancels 3 3 cancels 3 3 cancels 3 3 cancels 3 so we go ahead what do we have you have 1 divided into 2 power negative 8 plus we have 2 power negative 8 plus we have 2 power negative 8 then we have plus 2 power negative 8 and this should be equals to 64 so what do we do So what do we do? Let's factor this out. 1 divided into 2 power negative 8 into we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. And this should be equal to 64. So that means we are going to have this imply we are going to have 1 divided by 2 power negative 8 times 4. And this is equal to 64. So we continue. This also means we are going to have 1 divided by the power negative 8 times 4 is 2 power 2. And this is equals to 64. This also implies we are going to have 1 divided by 2 power negative 8 times 2 power 2. We are going to make use of this identity. A power n times A power m is equals to a power n plus m so we are going to apply the identity now so what do we do that means we are going to have 2 power negative 8 plus 2 and this is equals to 64 so we now have this is equals to 1 divided by 2 power negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6 and this is equals to 64 so if you have 1 all over a power n is equals to a power negative n so we consider this identity here that means we are going to have we 
you are going to have 1 all over 2 power negative 6 is simply equals to 2 power negative into negative 6 and this is equals to 64 because 2 power negative negative 6 is 2 power 6 which is equals to 64. So we have been able to prove that negative 8 over 3 is the actual value for m. So that is it for the video. Thank you and goodbye.